Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take those same examples we showed you on the previous video and calculate the actual divergence for each of the three examples. All right, here our first vector function is defined as x in the x direction, y in the y direction, plus z in the z direction. You can see that it increases in all directions x, y, and z. So we're going to find the divergence of this. We also have our second example where you can see that the vector function increases in the z direction in the positive direction or the negative direction. Notice the negative direction, we get a negative number in the z direction. And then here we can see where we knew there was no divergence is because we have a constant vector function. It's one in the y direction, so the vector doesn't change as we travel in any direction, x, y, or z. So let's see what the divergence looks like. Let's start with this one right here. If you notice to get the divergence, we take the partial derivative with respect to a of the x component plus the partial derivative with respect to y in the, of the y component plus the partial derivative with respect to z of the z component. So in this case, that would be the partial derivative with respect to x of, there is no x component, so it would be 0, plus the partial derivative with respect to y of the y component, which is simply 1, plus the partial derivative with respect to z of the z component, which is also 0 because there's no z component. And of course, the partial derivative of a constant is equal to 0, so this becomes equal to 0 plus 0 plus 0, which is 0, and therefore we already knew no divergence because the vector function doesn't change. How about this function right here? So this would be equal to the partial derivative with respect to x of the x component, which there's no x component, plus the partial derivative with respect to y of the y component, which again, there's no y component, plus the partial derivative with respect to z of the z component, and there is a z component, it is z. And so the partial derivative of z with respect to z is simply 1, so this becomes 0 plus 0 plus 1, and that means there is some divergence. Now, doing it over here, we have the partial derivative with respect to x of the x component, which is x, plus the partial derivative with respect to y of the y component, plus the partial derivative with respect to z of the z component. Let's put a line there so we don't get confused. And then we can see that this is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is equal to 3. And notice there's a bigger divergence with this vector function, a medium uh, divergence with this vector function and no divergence for this vector functions and that's how we can calculate the divergence of different functions. Hi Smokey. Hmm? Yeah, you want to come and see what's going on? Hmm? There.